Good morning, dear students. Today we are going to talk about Unit 2, Lesson 1, Heat Conduction. When you touch a cup of tea, you feel hot. Why? Due to the transferring of heat, of course, from the cup of tea to your hand. But when you touch a cube of ice, you feel cold. It means the heat transfers from the cube of ice to your hand or from your hand to the cube of ice. Let's see, when you touch a cube of ice, the ice melts and you feel cold. That means your hand loses an amount of heat that is gained by ice, so the ice melts. So heat transfers from your hand to the cube of ice. I mean, the heat transfers in only one way. It transfers from hot object to cold object from an object with higher temperature to an object with lower temperature. You studied before that heat is a form of energy. So let's now know what's meant by heat. Heat, it is a form of energy that transfers from the higher temperature object to lower temperature object. And now, let's know what's meant by temperature. If we are talking about hot object, we say it has high temperature. And if we are talking about cold object, we say that it has low temperature. So we can use word temperature to express about the hotness and coldness. So temperature, it is the degree of hotness or coldness of the body. And the temperature can be measured by using thermometer. Now we are talking about the uses or the importance of heat. The importance of heat at home, we use it in warming, cooking, heating water, and drying washed clothes. And heat also is used in industry as in making food, glass, paper, and textile. In this lesson, there are some activities Let's start by activity one. Get a glass container and three different materials as plastic ruler, metallic spoon, and wooden pencil. Stick a button on each one by using drop of wax. Then stick the three different materials to the edge of the container. Then add hot water to the container. What will you observe? You will observe that the button that is stuck on the metallic spoon falls down. Let's see activity two. Get four different materials as iron, aluminium, plastic, wood, and put them in a glass container containing hot water. And by your finger, touch the end of each one. Of course, you will feel warm only in case of aluminium and iron. From activity 1 and activity 2, we conclude that the materials are classified according to heat conduction into good conductors of heat or heat conductors and bad conductors of heat or heat insulators. Let's know what's meant by good conductors of heat. They are the materials that conduct heat and let heat flow through as <coughs> copper, aluminium, iron, and all metals. And what's meant by bad conductors of heat or heat insulators? They are materials that don't conduct heat as wood, glass, plastic, liquid, gases, especially air. In activity three, we are talking about the speed of heat conduction through metals. As we said before, that all metals are good conductors of heat. So we'll bring rod of iron, rod of aluminium, and rod of copper, and stick a button on each one of them by using a drop of wax on one end and expose the other end to a flame. We will observe that the button falls firstly in case of copper, then followed by, by aluminium, then iron. And we conclude that copper conducts heat faster than aluminium, faster than iron. 
I mean the fastest metal in conducting heat is copper and the least metal in conducting heat iron. Dear students, before starting this slide, we have to know one of the properties of metal that metals expand and get bigger by heating and contract and get smaller by cooling. So we have to know why the spaces are left between the railway sections. If you look at to this picture, you will see that there are spaces left in the railway sections. To avoid train accidents, when metals expand and get bigger by heating. In this slide, we will know the importance or usage of good and bad conductors of heat. Good conductors of heat are used in making as aluminium and copper are used in making cooking pots and kettles. And the bad conductors of heat as wood and plastic are used in making handles of cooking pots and utensils. Also heavy blankets and woolen clothes as wool is a bad conductor of heat are used to keep your body warm in winter. B. Remember that all metals are good conductors of heat. Copper conducts heat faster than aluminium, faster than iron. Iron is the least metal in conducting heat. And wood, wood and plastic are used in making handles of cooking pots and kettles.